Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. And I've only just opened this and I've got him in this cool pose. It is the Artillery Trooper, ladies and gentlemen, VC263. Let's have a look on the back before we go any further now. I believe it's only just Cal Kestis and the Clatoorian Raider I need to review on the back of there. But yeah, this is great, man. Only just got a second one to open, as is the case with Cal Kestis and um, Val. Val, even. Val Sartha. But yeah, this is cool, man. It's going to go well on the Mandalorian shelf. So we've already had the Incinerator Trooper guy, you know, the Flame dude. And then this guy was, you know, yellow. <laughs> so it's an easy repaint for Hasbro, but, you know, it goes back to that VC-140 sculpt, I believe. Although this might have the modifications of this gentleman over here. I really don't know. You'll have to educate me on that. Where are you, July Thunov? Two, three, one. But uh, I've got him in that one pose, and that's pretty cool. Look at him. How cool is that? And it obviously comes with a cannon. Let's see, kind of like a tripod thing. And the spare... We'll have a look at him in the bubble in a minute. The spare grenades go on his backpack here, which is pretty cool. I like that. Usually stormtroopers have them behind them. Can we see one? Right there. Hang on. I always wonder what they were, those things. Yeah? Anyway... Pretty cool. I'm not going to go through articulation. You know what these guys can do. But I uh, didn't know if to have him standing or s kneeling. But he, yeah, he works kneeling, man. As he as he does in the photograph there. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But yeah, it's just, just great. I've got one of the um, things in his hand. I've got the weapon that he comes with in his hand. That's one, one criticism would be the lack of weathering on that cannon and that blaster. If they just brushed it with something to make it look more metallic, it would be kick-ass. I mean, it already is great, but, you know, I like it when they do things like that. When they go above and beyond and they give you weathering and touch-ups where you don't expect it. Like, even with the barge, they put weathering on the inside where the human eye would never see unless you kind of go exploring. And the skiff as well had weathering and detail on panels that you wouldn't see it unless you you know, remove the panel. So I love that. It's like surprises you. But with this, something blatant that's... Hi, I'm overdubbing this bit because I mucked up the description of the colour of that thing. It's not grey. It's kind of like a browny kind of plastic, that, but still lacking detail, which would do it the world of good. Look at that, though. He looks great, doesn't he? Again, yeah, that could just do with a little bit more detail. But um, I'm just enjoying watching him spinning, man. That's great, that backpack's pretty cool. Love the pauldron. Epic. And I like the yellow as well. It's kind of cool, man. It's, um, I haven't seen a trooper with yellow since, uh, Master Yoda, the droid army is in full retreat. Well done, Commander. Bring me a ship. Or whatever. Who else is yellow? Can't really remember now. It's those clones or whatever that were the commander dude in Attack of the Clones. Here he is in the bubble. There's a, that's interesting, just a touch of yellow there as well on the top of the thighs. And that's got that kind of 501st pattern style. And there you go, you've got the four grenades or whatever they are. But he gets absolutely mauled, doesn't he? Doesn't, doesn't he get hit by a boulder? <laughs> it's quite clumsy, isn't it? Stormtroopers can be quite clumsy in the modern era. I think they were a bit more tough in uh, Andor, but... Uh, there he is, and for all the criticism that the location got, I loved it. Probably because I'm not an American and I don't live in L.A. But I think the criticism was that it was shot somewhere people would do a fan film, you know, on the back door, you know, back doorstep. But uh, I like that location. Very Hollywood Hills, I guess. Never been to L.A., but uh, I guess it would be like that. See what I mean? That looks like solid, heavy metal. And that just looks like plastic. So come on, Hasbro, you could have gone a bit a bit of a step forward there and painted that. You've done that with so many other weapons. I can't think off the top of my head what now. Like all the vintage collection is packed with examples of how you've made plastic look like my even. Look at that hand there. 
trying to think. I've seen blasters in the Saga Legends line that have been brushed with a little bit of silver. And it sets it off. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed that. I've done that video completely handheld, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to get in close. Really enjoying how it looks. And um, if I mount the camera now and just let him spin out. There's not much more I can say. Like the episode. One more thing about the episode is I wish that's where... Boba Fett's return began and ended because uh, the book of Boba Fett didn't really meet my expectations. In fact, before we even had the series, everyone was raving, going, oh, the book of Boba Fett, oh, it's going to be a Boba Fett series. Um, I, I thought, ah, I thought, leave it, man. Finish on a high because he was so good in that episode. And then he appeared in the next episode as well when they got um, Mayfeld. They went on that mission. He was just really sus. And even in episode um, six, Oh, no, beg your pardon, 16, which is episode 8 of se season 2, he was in that one. Be careful, princess. He's sort of like having a bit of a butting heads with, uh, what's her name, Bo-Katan's mate, Cosca Reeves. Let's think of a suitable analogy for what I'm trying to explain here. If you can imagine Boba Fett or Star Wars in general as being like a firework display, I would sooner just the one epic firework that lights up the entire sky and is epic in that one moment than have a series of crappy sparklers and Bruh. shitty <laughs> crap fizzlers of fireworks that are just lame that don't do anything just a bit too much Boba Fett in Bo Book of Boba Fett and it um, he's just too precious for that man he's there's too much mystique, and they destroyed it in a way. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on that. <laughs> but most importantly, the artillery trooper, stormtrooper, is amazing. So I was quite lucky to get this. I think I got it from somebody. Was it Collector's Den? I thought I was never going to get hold of a second, but I, I did. So it's a tough one. It was a tough one to get, but I got it. And I hope you can get it too if you are on the hunt. Good luck with that. And thank you for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.